Hello everybody, welcome to SimpleLim software demo. First of all, when you start a SimpleLim, SimpleLim software is a Microsoft um, access based uh, LIM software. When you start it, um, the first thing you will see that it's a SimpleLim login page. So you can type the usernames and password and pick um, LIM configurations. Uh, the first time, so because uh, you have to configure the LIM software before you start to use it, and after that you can pick the LIM management. So when you say OK, and then here is the simple LIM configurations uh, dialog box here. Basically, we're going to configure two type of things. First of all, it's a lab information. So you have to input your in employees' in uh, informations right here, and put your in employees' name here. And it was like a useful information, you know, projects on and training, so something like that. And also uh, company information like your address, your payment receipt, or all the things. And here is the, the login setup. You have three employees here, and here is the usernames and passwords, and that's the security level. You can always change it. We have a default and, uh, on elements and user 1 and user 2, but you can always change it. Okay, um, and then the very important thing is the workflow setup defined. And workflow is um, how you proceed all those uh, testings on your lab. Know that every lab has their own specialties, so you pretty much can define your workflows right here. Workflows names and who's created workflows and what is the activity steps on the workflow. And you can pretty much say step, step one, step two, step whatever. And what kind of materials um, involving with workflows. And here is the workflow charts. And that things you can directly input from Microsoft Visual. And here is the instrument involved with the workflow. Okay, you pretty much can just uh, uh, input these things, and here is the, the document uh, for the workflow. So, uh, you do the task, and uh, they will record your documents here. After that, uh, this workflow has been defined, and then you have to go through the uh, approve process, because uh, only managers can approve these workflows. Okay, we just use the E signatures on here. Say OK, and so you can get into approve. So, and then it's approved. So you can pretty much use it. You can see that. But we lock up on this page, so uh, people who don't have um, accessible levels that they cannot approve this workflow. So after these things done, you pretty much uh, can start your test. If you want to add it all, uh, add a new workflow here, you can pretty much add a new here. And here is uh, the type define. Uh, you can define different kinds of workflow types to match your lab's need. And after that, you're pretty much done with that. And uh, here is the list for workflow you have defined but have not approved it yet. So you can just click the workflow names and just wait for someone to approve that. And after these things done, you can just go to the uh, LIM management start start your management um, your LIM informations. Okay, and uh, first of all, uh, you can you get uh, customers and order, right? So you can start your customer order, input your orders information, and here is the warning sign that says that order order will due today reminder today you don't have any order due so we pretty much closed it and here is the couple of orders ongoing double click on and you will see the order so that's the order general information the customer names and priorities and what kind of project involved with the workflows and what kind of sample uh, in, involved with workflow so you can pretty much input your samples information here and after that, you have a sample here, and you have a sample uh, instance batch and project involved, and inventory place, and like uh, you can put what shelves and place one, place two, place three, and then they were going to tell you whether you're going to destroy it or you're going to keep it. So here is that the workflow things, oh, uh, the order things, and here's the overall order stuff and this is a testing feed and total payment received and order 
that's the order SOP tree and here is the project uh, progress chart is the ABC project and then ABC project involve a uh, workflow and workflow task and work workflow progress and project documents okay and here is the testing fee payment and with that things you can check the result um, the customer sample test result from here and so it's good or bad and we put some um, accurate range uh, result and this is the conclusions here and also you can pretty much uh, print it out the SOP report and uh, uh, resource uh, requirements um, allocation reports and um, everything's in here so after you uh, start to order you have to put in a customer info put customer information on the customer list form so you can always trace it with the customer and that's the customer the insurance information history records test results samples sample inventory control and building, building and payment information is here so that would be pretty much uh, here is the building report and which customer do what kind of project that's the building uh, status if they pay it if they don't pay it they will show it on the report right here so after that um, here will be you know when the sample in so you can just pretty much lock in the sample that will be easy pretty much lock in the sample by click the sample name and you can get all the samples information here um, that's batch you can always define the batch to do the test and here's the warning for today's due batch uh, we don't have any batch due today so pretty much this forms empty so we just close that and double click that you can get the batch information okay for the batch one they will involve the ABC sample ones and BBC sample ones and uh, uh, projects here and sample information and here they pretty much list all the things um, the sample and the, here is the workflow so the batch one we involve project and workflows and uh, sample instance over here okay and uh, that's the result and documents you can pretty much uh, trace those uh, documents information and result over here and here's all those reports that we provided um, you can check all those reports by a single uh, by simply just click on the, the reports name um, here is the lab resource management like a uh, materials what kind of material uh, we, we put a material list over here and uh, instruments so you can just uh, click on that and what instruments you have maintenance records reminders access records input output documents and um, here is that uh, the inventory management so you just put in material and uh, they will tell you when you order it how much you order it and uh, they'll put the uh, expire list and tell you which one will be expired and um, here is the purchase order it says they're going to record what kind of material you could buy and which vendors uh, you're using and here's pretty much the, the materials or maintenance of vendors information so it is uh, simply click on that and there will show that the vendors information contact information and the purchase order you made it or uh, 